Francesca Chambers and CRTV host, uh, the conservative millennial blogger, Ali Stuckey. Ali, I'm not sure if you were able to hear what Brent Bozell had to say. Uh, he did uh, read off a Keith Oberman tweet that had me very nervous because it had a lot of F words in it, and I was afraid he was going to make a mistake. That being the, <laughs> he didn't do that, but I think he did make a pretty good observation about a double standard. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I, I do want to preface what I'm going to say, my agreeance with him on that. With one, this is not a First Amendment free speech issue. A lot of people are trying to conflate those those two things. It's certainly not. ABC had the right to cancel the show if they wanted to. Number two, the comment that she made was racist. It was wrong. She was right to apologize for it, and people are right to condemn her for it. However, it is also a legitimate concern that there is a double standard among conservatives. If you look at Keith Ober Olbermann, if you look at Michelle Wolf, who made light of abortion at the White House Correspondence Center, if you look at Jimmy Kimmel and the sexual harassment that he's laughed at on his show, Stephen Colbert, Alec Baldwin, they all have a history of making very troubling, um, sometimes sexist, sometimes discriminatory comments, and they all still have jobs in the same jobs that they've held for a long time. I just want the outrage to be even. I'm okay with outrage against conservative racist comments. I want there to be outrage on the other side as well. You know, Francesca, of course, as we came in, we had uh, we played that sot and uh, some of these commentators actually taking the words that came out of Roseanne's mouth and placing them in Donald Trump's mouth. Uh, and, and that actually also, I think, exacerbates the issue in this country of race and race relations. Yep. And I don't think it's do doing anybody any favors. This puts the president in a unique position because, of course, he's been very supportive of Roseanne, and he talked about the ratings and how that's very reflective on him and his administration. So it felt like the White House had to make a comment about this issue, but at the same time, when so many people are saying that her remark about Valerie Jarrett was racist, it also put the White House in a difficult position on this. We heard Sarah Sanders, White House press secretary, first saying that President Trump didn't have time to to talk about this at all and that he was busy with North Korea and the economy and other things yesterday and then President Trump weighing in on it today and we see that so many times here at the White House where the White House Secretary will say one thing and then President Trump will say another thing. We have a press briefing today and assuredly she will be asked about this again and why the president did decide to weigh in on this after her saying that he didn't have time for it. Francesca, do you think there will be questions at this press briefing or projections uh, at this press briefing connect, and, and, and sort of connecting the comments from her tweet to President Trump as if they came out of his own mouth. Well, I certainly think that there will be questions about things that President Trump has, has done or said in the past, potentially, as well as, again, the president's own support for Roseanne in the past. 